So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. So guys, Vasily Lomachenko is in negotiations with Anue uh, about his next fight already. Uh, if he beats Teofimo Lopez, he's in negotiations of fighting Anue next. Bob Arum obviously now promotes Anue uh, and he, he wants to fight with Anue next. I don't know what Lomachenko fans are going to make of this. I don't know what, you know, boxing fans are going to make of this. Lomachenko becomes undisputed. I don't think he can become undisputed until he beats Haney, who's got the WBC. But for me, he's undisputed champion because he became franchise champion. So as far as I'm concerned, if he beats Tiafimo, he's undisputed champion. Uh, according to Maurizio Suleiman, even if you're the franchise champion, then you can def you still are the undisputed champion. So for me, he'll be the undisputed champion. But what I'm more, <sighs> which irritates me a little bit, I I like Lomachenko. I think he's a great fighter. But again, is he gonna get props for going down to 126 and fighting a smaller one Anue? There's gonna be excuses if he beats Anue. This is what I mean. This is what I told you guys that Vasily Lomachenko is looked at. He's got high standards that he's got to meet. And if he's not meeting those high standards, right, people are going to people are gonna criticize him. Uh, I think the Inoue fight is a great fight and I love to see that fight. I love to see it. Uh, but the problem is a lot of people are going to think Inoue is overmatched in the sense that Inoue is too small. So if Lomachenko wins that fight, people are going to say, well, Lomachenko was too big for Anue. He's not going to get the credit. This is why you always have to look up rather than look down. Because if you look down, right, and go down, you're never going to get the credit. Errol Spence didn't get a lot of credit when he beat Mikey Garcia. People said, well, he was supposed to do that. He didn't knock him out. They actually criticized him because they said he didn't knock him out. So if Lomachenko beats Anue, we already see the, we already know the excuses. A lot of Lomach I I've been calling out for Lomachenko to fight Pacquiao. A lot of Lomachenko fans will say, well, if he beats Pacquiao, people will say he's old. But the difference is, that's a dangerous fight. The difference is, yes, you guys are right. If he beats Pacquiao, which personally I don't think he would, but if he did, right, there will be excuses that Pacquiao was too old, he was washed up. But he beat Thurman. You see, he beat Thurman. So you can click on, well, he beat Thurman. The thing is, with the Nue, there's definitely going to be excuses because he's a smaller dude. With Pacquiao, Pacquiao's fighting at a higher weight class. He's going to get a lot more credit fighting Pacquiao. But the Nue fight's a great fight. I like Nue's chances in that fight. Even though a lot of people criticized me and said, well, Nue's going to lose and Lummer's going to school him. I like Nue in that fight. I think Nue is growing in confidence fight by fight. But again, I'm just thinking, looking at it from Loma's situation, Loma's going to get criticised if he fights that fight. People are going to give Loma a lot of stick for fighting a smaller Anue, you know. And if he wins, I don't think he's going to get the credit that he deserves. This is why I would say to Loma, look at some of the opportunities above that you think are not too big that you can handle. Because by you fighting Anue... You know he's going to get stick. You just know he's going to get stick. There's no way he's not going to get stick in that fight. He's, he's going to... Pe people are going to criticize him. That, that's um, that's going to happen. So if an Lomachenko is willing to take that criticism, let's not forget what happened when he fought Rigonda. And let's not forget the stick that he got for that fight. Right? People didn't give him any cr credit. They said, well, yeah, he fought, uh, he fought um, uh, a small dude in Rigonda. And Anuwe is even smaller than Rigonda, right? So, again, I don't know. Personally, I think Loma should look up rather than down uh, because I don't think he's going to get any credit, if I'm honest with you, beating Anuwe. I don't, even though I think it, it may be a tough fight. Who knows? Anuwe may come on strong in that fight. But it's a fight where I think Loma's got nothing to gain because I think it's kind of one of them fights where people are going to say, well, yeah, he beat a smaller dude. You beat a smaller guy. That's what people are going to say. That's just my take on it. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. Uh, so Anue and Casemiro. 
has been made official. This is a great fight. As it as as now that it's been made official in Las Vegas as well. What a chance for John Rel Casamero. What a chance for John Rel Casamero to shock the world. You know, because Anuwe is seen as this big star. Anuwe is going from strength to strength. Uh, people think Anuwe is going to be an opponent for Lomachenko. And it's John Rel's Casamero's chance to steal the show. I don't think he will. I think Anuwe will probably stop him. But I think John Rel Casamero's stock can even rise in defeat if he if he puts up a good display. Um, I think I think it's a tough fight for Casamero. I think this is the first time Casamero is going to be in a real, real fight. Uh, where he's going to be up against it. Uh, Anuwe has already shown against a legend in Anita Donaire that Anuwe is up for a fight. You know, and Casemiro is going to have to put out, put, or come up with the best performance of his career so far. And even is that going to be enough? I'm not sure because, you know, Anuwe is a real, real fighter. He's a real, real fighter. And he's a tough guy. He's, he can take a punch. He's strong. Uh, he's got, he can punch, he's fast, uh, he moves well, he's got great feet, uh, the kid's special, the kid is special, so John Rowe Casemiro's got it all to do, he has, but it's a, it's a big, big opportunity for John Rowe Casemiro, he's fighting in Las Vegas, April 25th, against one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world in Anuwe, it doesn't, it doesn't get bigger than that, it doesn't get big, bigger than that, John Rel Casemiro can become an overnight sensation if he beats Inoue. He can become one of the biggest stars in world boxing if he beats Inoue. So it's a great, great opportunity for John Rel Casemiro. Is he going to be good enough? Many people don't think so. Many Filipinos don't think so. But that's when stars are made. That's when stars are made. No one thought Pacquiao would beat Ladwaba. Pacquiao came up in, as a replacement. Because Casemiro is still getting... He's still getting... Um, um, he's still getting... Uh, what do you call it? Camp. You know, he's getting a full camp. Whereas, you know, Pacquiao came in as a replacement. However, Ladwaba wasn't one of the best pound-for-pound fighters in the world. Uh, but he was still a good fighter. But... With Anuwe, I think Anuwe is a special kind of fighter. Anuwe is a special breed. And I'm not sure I've seen enough from John Rel Casemiro so far in his career to suggest that he'll, he'll, he'll win this fight or he's got, he's got a great chance. Listen, it's a great opportunity. Like I said, even in defeat, John Rel Casemiro can rise his stock because he's not expected to win this fight. He's, not expect, he's expected to go in there putting a, a great performance but to come out second best. You know, he's a guy that top rank are putting in uh, for, you know, for in Anuwe's first fight for under top rank in order to make him shine, uh, in order to build him as a mega star. So basically, Casemiro is being brought in by Aram, right, to make Anuwe a bigger star. Uh, they probably think it makes for a fan-friendly fight and they think that Anuwe is going to do a job on him and he's going to propel into a much bigger star here in the United States. I think it's a case where they're trying to make a fan-friendly fight and they know John Rowe Casemiro is going to bring the pain. He's going to bring the heat. Uh, so they think it's going to be a great fight. I think that's why they've made it. And I think they think it's going to be a sensational fight uh, which will help raise Anuwe's profile in the United States. I think that's why they've made that fight because I think they know John Rowe Casemiro is a real fighter and he's going to bring it. And I think that's what Bob Arum wants because Bob Arum knows the, greater, the better the fight, the more... A new way star will grow. So um, it's a great fight. It's a great fight. But what do you guys think? Do you think uh, it's a fight that John Rell can win? Do you think it's a fight which Anuwe will run away with? Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.